Hey, what's up turtles? Crick here with Black Owl Outdoors. I'm smoking my face right now because we're gonna be making some bannock and a cast iron pan on the fire. So I'm gonna let the fire get down obviously to a manageable little coal base. Let it burn down a little bit. So what is bannock if you're not familiar with it? Basically it's a flat bread. And I have an actual one serving mixed up in here because it's convenient to keep it in a in a plastic bag, all self-contained inside of here. I will do another video showing a little bit, um, maybe less waste, because really you're using a plastic bag, it's probably not that good idea to wash it and keep reusing it. But basically it's flour. This is uh, one cup of flour in here, some baking powder, some salt, and I made this sweet, so I put some cinnamon sugar in here. And this is about one serving, you'll see that, and I believe it's about three quarter cups of water to get this to a nice consistency, but with me cooking, personally, I really don't measure that much. It's all like on um, experience and preference and just feel. And this is a small eight inch cast iron skillet that we're gonna be using. And we're gonna be pan frying this today because I did bring some oil, oil, brought some oil out with me. So we're gonna be pan frying this and it's gonna give a really nice golden, just fried texture on at least one side. Nice little convenient way to store oil to bring out to the forest. And here is, like I said, the mix. It's about one serving. And before this fire gets down here, I'm just gonna get this mixed up and show you how I go through the process. It's pretty straightforward and simple. I'm gonna open this up and pour some water in here. I'm just gonna add a little bit at first and then obviously I can add more, but it's difficult. It's very difficult to add sort of dryness to this because this is all my mixture. I don't have any extra flour that if I over, I get this too wet, I don't have anything obviously to add to it to make it drier. So add a little bit of first, basically just start working this inside of it. I'll start the, I'm just gonna keep working this as best I can, try to get out the corners. Usually there'll be some dry flour mixture in there, some banding mixture in the corners that are being stubborn. Just kind of work this around. I'm doing this ahead of time. Like I said, the fire's not ready yet to, uh, to be used. Let that burn down a little bit, but we can do this ahead of time. I'm kind of gauging the consistency of this. Kind of want to make a ball and let me see how it holds. Pull some out and show you. Keeping its shape. Go probably add a little bit more. Add a little bit more in here. Yeah, I'm gonna add a little bit more water in here. Keep doing this. This is all trial and error. Getting the consistency you like, how you're gonna be cooking it. Bannock can be made so many different ways. Over the fire, you can cook it on a plank, a piece of wood, flat piece of wood, a plank, prop it next to the fire. You can cook it in the ash, make it like an ash cake. We're gonna be pan frying it. You can bake it, put it on coals, put some coals over top of it and sort of bake it. But we're gonna be pan frying it because who doesn't like things fried? And Bannock is just a staple. Oh, sir, smoke right in the face. Bannock has been a staple of people in the outdoors because it's flour. There's so much sort of energy to be had in eating this type of food. If you're gonna be really active in the forest or hiking, anything like that, this is just straight basically energy. Not too much nutritional value in this. But for energy's sake, it's powerful stuff. You could even bring some jam, some preserves, go the whole English route, eat some really plain, plain crackers or bread and put some really sweet spread on top of it. You put fruit in this. You know, it's just basically a, just a base. And you can add pretty much anything your imagination can think of. You can make pizza. This could be the start of a crust for a pizza. Anything like that. Let's get a little, this is getting a little nicer now. 
sticking a little bit more. See a little bit of dried mix that I didn't get to yet. Try to get that down where I want it. Yeah, I'm feeling good about that now. It's probably all the water I'm going to add. Open this up so I get it down on itself. Get to the bottom of the bag. Mmm, smell that cinnamon. I love cinnamon pretty much on anything. Peanut butter and jam, jelly, with cinnamon. Mmm, mmm, can live off that. All right, this is good. I call this good. Next up, I'm going to get this pan and this oil warm on the fire because we're going to work with this fire the way it is right now. We're going to keep going. Set this aside. I'm going to get, get this open a little bit. Spread this open a little bit. Pan on there. Get some oil in here without getting any around it to burn it. I'll admit. Definitely some residues on my hand. And like any sort of basic, I guess, do's and don'ts, if you're in the forest or in predator territory or bear specifically, you don't want to be cooking, making this mess where I'm going to be sleeping next to it, if I'm going to be sleeping next to this, you know, I want to give myself probably 100 yards, 100 meters away from this if I'm going to be making this type of mess around my uh, fire. But it's not always possible. And check the oil. See how that's kicking around the pan real easy? Let me get a better grip on it. See oil kicking around in there? Coat the sides. And I want to, like I said, this is going to be pan fried, so I want to make sure this is nice and hot when I get that bread in there. I'm going to stick her back on, let her warm up a little bit, take it off again, and then uh, put the bread in there. The smoke is blown all in my face today. I love it. All right. Take this off. Now we got to take this mixture out of the bag. So I'm just going to pinch it down the bottom, fold it inside out, and sort of push it out with my hand on the outside. Find it's a really nice, easy way to get this out of the bag pretty clean. And I kind of want to form this a little bit. It's a little wet. And obviously the thinner I make this, it took a little bit longer than I want to. Obviously we're filming. I want this pan as hot as I can. Because um, for filming, it always takes longer. I always got to stop and show the camera. But get this down a little bit thinner. And pop this puppy back on. The fire. Whew, that smoke is terrible. Whew. I'm going to blow on these coals a little bit more than go down to the stream right behind us and just wash off some of this into the stream. But you can see down there at the bread, you see how that oil's nice and bubbling? That's that frying action we're going after. I'll be back. sure my hands are good and dry before I put anything up to my face or my mouth. I'm going to turn this around now. Is that poil or that poil puddle oil on this side. Kind of work this around it. Oh, you hear that? Oh, yeah. Nice old frying action going on there.
still getting a good amount of heat off these coals. I was going to grab some small stuff to see if I need to get the heat up a little bit, but I don't need to. I don't feel like this should be enough to cook this little bit of bannock. And I'm going to check it now before I flip it. You hear that? I can tell I'm getting a nice crisp underneath that just from the sound. And we can check that by... See, I was getting that nice golden brown. Oh yeah, try to get into the light. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna blow these coals a little bit since I got the pan off of it right now. You know, I could even take this frying pan, sit it over here and sort of prop it to help get this side cooked if I wanna do one side. But I'm gonna flip it and try to cook this other side. Consistency, I can feel it's getting nice and you know decently hard now. Trust me. Too much. Cook that side a little bit, push this down, flatten it out a little bit, help it cook. Get into the middle. Let's let that go now. Cook a little bit on that side, and then we'll have a feast. Sorta. Mmm. Pan fried bread. in the center look all about done. No more heat coming off from bringing some of this. Ooh. Came apart. That's probably good. That's probably about good. I'm gonna take it off and check the underside. And usually, in my experience doing it this way, pan frying it, is that um, you're only gonna get one side like this, obviously, because that first initial hot oil, that bout of hot oil, and obviously it's soaked up pretty much all that oil to get this color. The underside isn't gonna be like that. See, I mean, that's done, it's cooked. It's hard, but it kind of fell apart. Pull this apart and see, it's still really hot. It smokes right in my face. Switch over here. So you're gonna get one side that nice golden brown like this, but I'll pull this apart. That looks done. Warm on the inside, you bet. All right, first little piece. Anytime you cook, the rule of thumb is the first piece goes to the guest. Open up. Do you accept that? Finished. Good. Yeah. Cameraman approved. You hear him chomping back there. Oh yeah. The smoke's going right in his <laughs> Nice fried bread. Mmm. Really good. A lot of energy now. I'm gonna run around. Hmm. Really good stuff. Mm, golden side. See the cinnamon specks in there, darkness. You want another piece, Tony? You good? He's good. So that's all there is to it. This is some of the kind of the down and dirty way to a degree because I'm frying it in a pan. I brought the pan out with me, but no great. Just right on the coals, no even prop up off the coals. Just pretty simple, simple way to do it. If you have any questions about what I'm uh, <coughs> That breadstick. Oh, any questions about what? <laughs> Let me get some water. <laughs> Let's try this again. <sighs> any 
questions about what I've done, <laughs> leave a comment. Tell me some of your recipes or some of your favorite ingredients or ways to cook bannock. I'm always looking to learn, as everyone knows. Oh man, I'm just gonna enjoy this right now with my brother and enjoy the rest of the day out here in the forest. Beautiful fall day. This is Crick signing out with Black Outdoors. Later, turtles.